What's up you guys? Your favorite little keto goofball diamond and I should be in bed. But instead I'm filming. <laughs> because I love doing this too. Um, today is day 1497 of my ketogenic journey. I think, maybe. I'm not positive. We got some things to talk about. I got some feelings, some emotions, some things I got to say. And a few other things too. Alright, so if you're interested in following a daily keto journey, here's where you do it at. Uh, this is a real life journey. When I fail, I tell you. When I succeed, I jump for joy and I tell you. And I even put a crown on my head. It's just been a long time since I've had it on. Coming up on a year. But that's alright. That's okay. I'm still pushing. I'm still trying. And you're here with me. So just make your next move keto too. And we'll just keep right on rocking through. It's time, y'all. Well, no, 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 no. Ahead of myself. Like, subscribe, share, ring the bell. All that stuff. It's time. To rant, rave, and misbehave. Keto Dive Stuff. Alright, you guys. Yes, I should be in bed. Yes, it's almost 11 p.m. Yes, I have to be up at 5 a.m. And yes, I still have my grandson, Zach, who I'm going to take home in the morning and trade for his father, who's going to go to work with us. It's the whole thing. It's the whole thing. <laughs> so, I have some pleasing news for me anyway. I don't care. But it's, it's making me a little bit happy. Um, I started using sunblock kind of like everywhere the sun would hit because if you're going to be out in the sun where you can absorb the vitamin D3 rays, awesome if you're going to be in the car most of the day and the d3 rays are blocked by the glass but the uva dangerous rays are not blocked by the glass sunblock's a great option so i've been putting it kind of everywhere and since i've been putting it on my forearms um i have a lot of scars on my arms from being allergic to mosquitoes now my tan has not all the way gone away on my forearms it just hasn't but the 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 scars are now a little closely closer match to my skin. I'm very, very happy about that. Um, and the anti-aging benefits, I'm going to be happy about that hopefully one day, someday, maybe. Anyway, um, my chest. I've always had a lot of redness on my chest. Now, I still have some red blotchiness, which is perfectly smooth, but it looks like, uh, it looks like it's lumpy, but it's perfectly smooth skin. Um, it looks to me, and not completely obviously, that it's fading a little bit. So maybe it's sun damage. Maybe it's just, I don't know for sure, but yeah. I can definitely see a difference in my skin tone though. Um, it's kind of weird. Kind of neat. Kind of interesting. I've never done sunblock all the time before. But I do want to start kind of getting used to it since I spend a lot of time in the car. Even at work, when I'm on my breaks and stuff, that's where we sit in the car. So, um... Yeah, <laughs> sunblock's probably a pretty good idea for us. Plus, we do have these sunscreens. I bought these things I saw on Amazon that just kind of stretch down over top of your car windows. Uh, we, we leave the back ones on, but the, 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 the side glasses on the front are a little more difficult to function and ride around with. They're great for blocking the sun, you know, in, in the parking lots and stuff, but driving around not so much. <sighs> Talking my head off already. I got a headache. So I got genuinely scared last night. I've had, um, I've told y'all about smelling exhaust kind of on and off. Now I don't think that, for me anyway, is a symptom of COVID because um, that's been going on for weeks. So I don't think that's it. Although I did look up some lists of symptoms that people have described and that smelling weird stuff like exhaust is on the list. So, but it's also allergy and sinus related, which there's pollen cover in my car. So, you know, my sinuses have gone crazy, which means I've got a cough, I've got a little congestion, I've got the, the whole icky um, tightness up in there, but I got really scared last night, and I'm not going to lie. Um, I know that everybody has a very strong opinion one way or the other, and that's not what this is about. This is simply me telling you my feelings and emotions of what I started to experience last night, okay? So, 
I was hoping like hell I just kicked myself out of ketosis. I was actually hoping that. Um, I didn't entirely, but I'll explain more in a minute. So the back of my neck at two points, like right here and right here had started to hurt. And when I looked it up, of course, that among a million other things are a symptom of that. But since my neck was getting stiff and sore and my head felt like it weighed 100 pounds, I was a little worried. Um, it's a varying degree. It's, it's a damned if you do, damned if you don't. If you're still going to get it, why get that? And if that can cause this, then why get that? It's just, I don't, I don't even, and I try to put a lot of research and thought into stuff. Not just low base research, not just surface level research. I try to dive deep, which is why I enjoy keto so much, because I know what it does and how it heals. But that, again, that's a damned if you do, damned if you don't, and you don't know what the hell to do. So, I'm not looking for opinions, not at all. Not looking for arguments down in the comment section. Just saying, that's how I feel. Um, but I started thinking, baby, I, I mean, I did visit my niece in the hospital on, on Saturday, but then my brain was like doing this overtime work. Well, she was tested negative three times. What happened to her was because of the bad thing. Um, but there's false negatives and false positives. And it's a hospital, which means other people have been in there with God knows what, including that. Did I get it? Is this what's happening here? Well, I took some Tylenol, went to bed, very, very tired, very, very stiff, thinking, oh God, here it comes. Woke up this morning, hopped out of bed, felt just perfectly daggone fine. All but the little coffee allergy stuff, but you know, I was, I was really worried. I don't know exactly what happened last night. I do think I brought my ketones down. I know I, I spiked my glucose. So I was out of nutritional ketosis. I knew that. Um, because when I started feeling like this, I was like, just please let me have been kicked. Just because I ate that uh, zoodle meal. I did eat more zoodles than usual and I did put more Rayo's sauce on it than usual. And then I used a one neck carb bun or slices of bread to eat like a zoodle sandwich because like spaghetti sandwiches are so good and I made my whole family spaghetti. So, you know, I was trying to like eat with them and not, <coughs> the dog's barking to come in, but, um, you know, trying to kind of like comparison eat, you know, and I, I do think it brought me down out of uh, the ketone range and I do think it shot my glucose up a little bit um, because I did check, I was 0.3 ketones, and and this was like three hours later, so 0.3 ketones, and my at my glucose was uh, 115, so a little higher than I normally have, uh, quite a bit higher actually than I normally have, so it was probably that effect, From it could have also been from being very tired, um, and my head just starting to weigh a lot because I had my, my head up all day, you know, let me let this dog in. All right, so now all that being said, I did go up and wait, and I, it's probably from the spaghetti meal, or the zoodle meal, and <coughs> need to take some allergy medicine, but it's probably from the zoodle meal, it's probably from, you know, the spike and stuff, and then a lack of sleep over this week. I don't sleep very much. I try, but my brain just doesn't stay that way. I can go to sleep really easy. I can't stay asleep long. Um, but I also discovered today is PMS Day 1. Sharply. I hate that term. I hate all the terms. It's just annoying. <laughs> PMS. <laughs> so it was definitely annoying. Um, so lady issues. Day 1. If you can call me a lady, but some people can't, so it's okay. Uh, <laughs> That's cool, because I bought two boxes of Bang Bang pellets today. Mm. Um, yeah, it's been a long day. We've been out getting our groceries and everything. I did kind of sort of meal prep. I made me a salad for tomorrow. Whether I remember to take it with me, whether I remember to eat it, that's a whole other story. Ooh, because I meant to make some chicken to go in it, and I forgot to make the chicken to go in it, but I might still make the chicken to go in it, because I need more protein in that salad than what I got. I just got a sprinkle of like uh, diced ham on there that's not gonna that's not gonna do um, 
especially where I work. It was a beautiful, perfect day today, though. Oh, my gosh, you guys. It was like 82 degrees. It wasn't sweltering hot. It was just gorgeous here. Just gorgeous. The next two days are supposed to follow suit. And I'm like, yes. Um, so, like, I found that, like, at 311 pounds, trying to wear a pair of blue jeans on an 80-degree day, oh, hell no, too hot. But at 160, trying to wear a pair of blue jeans today, perfectly comfortable. Oh, my goodness, it was wonderful. It was so great today. I mean, it really was. I'm so glad. I'm so, but the only thing I'm not glad about is it's going to be cooler in the morning. It was cooler this morning. I actually had to use the heat in the car um, because he stayed with me and I don't have a jacket for him. We, we have one. It's just not here. Um, sorry. Now, I know I have some packed away at our winter stuff from last year, but they're down in the building. And I believe the slithering things down in the building, so I'm gonna talk to my dad and be going down there and getting the dig on things because I'm these slithering things. Mm -hmm. Don't like creepy crawlies either, but I damn sure don't like things that slither. Whoo! It's the girly girl with me. <laughs> um, I, I think I'm a weird girl. I really am. I like my nails painted. I don't want to mess with a snake, but I still like to shoot at things. <laughs> I like bows and arrows. I like guns. I mean, you know. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird. Maybe I'm not. Maybe you're all that way. Hell, I don't know. I love a straight drive. I mean, I'm girly girl in some things and tomboyish, I guess, in others. I don't know. I'm me. Me ain't always right in the head, but I'm me. So, anyway, yesterday I did. <coughs> yesterday I did try. Some zero net carb buns, no, one net carb buns, I'm sorry. They're extraordinary bite buns from Walmart in the freezer section, so they keep the bread frozen. There's only five buns in that pack. It's like five bucks for the pack. It's kind of insane, but I wanted to try them, and it would be nice to have once in a while. I mean, let's say you you do stop at a restaurant often, and you want a burger. Where are you buying? And, and the, they taste pretty good. They're, they're, they taste like bread. They really do. Um... Now, I had them earlier in the day with Anthony because we made him a turkey and cheese sandwich on that bread. So, I took a bite. And I took a bite of Corey's because she made her some too. And then I made me one. Or two. I made two. Yeah, I made me two. So, I'm told I probably had two and a half of those. And that's probably more than I needed because, remember, this is net carb, not total carb. So, total carbs, I didn't even look at the package and I should have because that's one of the keto cardinal rules. Know your carbs. Know how many net, know how many total, know all of it. But I didn't. But I felt fine, you know, after that. Um, it wasn't until after I had the zoodle meal later in the evening, but I did, again, incorporate some uh, incorporate some of that uh, bread in there, too. So, I mean, any number of things could have threw me off yesterday, including lady issues. So, I'm going to go ahead and do my weigh-ins here. Check it out. And what I ate. Uh, it turned off. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. It is Wednesday morning. 163.8. Anthony's over here watching Cocomelon, um, <laughs> and we ain't gonna bother him. So I am having a turkey and cheese with mayonnaise on one net carb hamburger buns from Walmart called the Extraordinary Bites. These are quite expensive. They do taste good. I had a bite. Corey made her some, and I had a bite too. And then I also tried the zero, the, the two net carb bread, the uh, wheat version from Extraordinary Bites that Anthony had a sandwich on, and he demanded I take a bite. So. Uh, all in all, it's not bad. Uh, the buns taste like bread. And they're kind of expensive, though, for five buns, five hamburger buns. It's almost five bucks. But they're in the freezer section if you want to try them. I had a lot of coffee today. I'm not really sure how much coffee today. Um, but, like, I had regular this morning and decaf now, all with unsweetened vanilla almond milk. And, of course, earlier I had my first cup had the uh, collagen peptides from Orgain in it. And um, stevia packets. I got zoodles, beef, um, Rayo's, Rayo's sauce, <laughs> Parmesan cheese, an insane people over there who wants to hide from the camera after Zoodle. all that noise. Big Brian's in the kitchen getting something else. In the kitchen! Oh, Ooh, Ooh, yes. oh we're not going to argue with him. Oh. Uh, it's 164.4. <laughs>
Looky, I grew a baby tomato. Hi! Look, Zach, look at my little tomato. Oh, is that new? Yeah, he grew right on the vine. Did it grow right now? Yeah, it's just finished. <laughs> so, I think that's up 1.4 or 6 pounds. Sorry, you guys, you, you guys just saw them. I haven't seen them since I, I filmed them yesterday and this morning. So, I'll be putting them in here. But I do think I went up. I think it was 1.4 or 6. I don't really know. Um, not great, and but again, it could partially be lady issues. It, it could be so many different things because I did so much yesterday, and, and so many hormonal things. So you know, this explains so much. Thank heavens, because yesterday I was watching funny videos and just weeping like crazy. Y'all know how that happens. It don't make no sense. We don't want to cry because it makes our head hurt. It gives us snot. We don't want none of that. And, and nobody has that pretty cry face. So, well, I mean, I'm sure some people do. I do not. Um, <laughs> but, you know. Um, so many. And then, I got to be honest. All the stressors of this year are just like stuff that I never in my imagining thought I would ever experience and if I did it wouldn't be quite the way it's been um, and it, I'm not just talking about uh, it, like if you've been following me you know this so I'm not talking about like just this, the crap on the news just the political crap just the 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 COVID crap I'm talking about my entire existence for the last year has been one hell of a roller coaster just, huh. Shoom. <laughs> all over the damn place and I feel like that's where my mind is it's just kind of like there's a million boxes unpacked in there and I'm digging through all of them and I'm finding cool stuff over here and crap over here and <laughs> are you with me do you understand what I'm saying do you have this problem this year because I know for one I know I know for a fact that even though my year has been a ridiculous roller coaster ride I'm blessed because Everything so far has turned out okay. It's just been a lot of touch and go there. And I know for some of you, it has not been okay. I know some horrible events have unfolded in your personal life, emotional uh, stuff on television. I know that some of you are suffering so bad. So I don't want for a second for anybody to think that I don't know exactly how blessed and grateful I have been. Because thus far, and, and now that can change, but thus far, while we've been hit with some of it, it, it hasn't been, you know, I don't want to really talk about that, but it hasn't gone over the edge, even though it's just came up to the edge and went struck. Um, <laughs> it's, it's been quite terrifying quite a bit this year, but I do know that some of you have suffered quite egregiously this year. I know that some of you are still going through it, or currently going through it, or and then the, you, got, you got a damn hurricane on top of it. What? <laughs> we all need to turn everything off and just watch some Golden Girls, some Designing Women, some something funny that ain't got nothing to do with now. <laughs> it's just like from the past with some Sanford and Son. I'm going to look that up. I show used to make me laugh when nothing could. That, yeah, I, we gotta watch something. We gotta do something. We gotta, we gotta turn the news off. We gotta turn off the news feeds. We just got to watch some funny. Cause this ain't not a damn thing been funny about this year. None of it. Or the last couple of, none of it. And then like getting a job and seeing that wonderful explosion of having a second income. And then the inflammation, the in, in well, it's inflammation, but the inflation shoot up like crazy in my second income. It's kind of like my where we were before, and now I just have to work my ass off for it, <laughs> which is still a blessing because we would really be hurting right now had I not gotten the job and how had we not gotten the second income. So it's still a blessing, but it just kind of pisses me off. <laughs> And again, I don't want a political discussion down below. I understand that some of y'all feel vastly different from me. I understand some of y'all agree exactly with me. And I understand that some of y'all are like, will you please shut the hell up? I came here for keto. But let me tell you something. All these stressors 
If you don't think it has something to do with your diet, then you have never been on a diet because stress, weight loss, sleep, all of it is one big ball of if you don't get the, the, the combination exactly right, ain't nothing going to happen. Nothing. Things have to be good in certain ways at very least. Your sleep has to be good. Your food has to be good. They have, it has to be on point. You, it, 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 it's just, it's a lot of, you got to, it's unity. You got to come together. No matter how you look at it, you got to. And we, we can talk a lot of crap. You know, we're, we're so divided. America's so divided. We're not. We're one great big ass dysfunctional family. We fight like hell amongst ourselves. But better not nobody else mess with us. Alright. Me and my sister, we will fight till we damn near kill each other. Mentally. Because she's... You, I can't. But anyway. <laughs> but better not nobody else mess with us. <laughs> That's just how that works, okay? So, we are still unified. We are still united. We just don't act like it. We're going to fight like hell. That's what we've always done. But we have to hope and pray that in the end, everything will work out just fine. Hopefully. I've had a bad day. Actually, I haven't. I got the whole beans. I got... Uh, sounds crazy. Okay, so my daughter's little um, best friend and has been one of her best friends all her life calls me Beans is Mama. Honorary Mama. God Mama. There it goes. But anyway, she came over. I got to hug, kiss, and cuddle. I think I did not like that. Because uh, she was with her. She went, uh uh, Mama, how you doing? And, and she acted like she wanted to hold the baby too. And she's so good with baby dolls, Athena is. Yesterday, Anthony was crying. Athena had one of her baby dolls going, shh. She was like, look at this child. She knows. She already knows. My mom's girl right there. But it was, uh, why am I still talking? I gotta go to bed. I oh my God, I need a shower. You guys, make your next meal keto. Like, subscribe, share. Don't argue in the comment section. Do not argue with me. I don't want to hear it. But I want to hear your successes and everything else. So pop those down below. It is time for me to get to hell in bed. Well, shower in bed. <sighs> If you need my help, my contact information is below. I help everybody for free. If you'd like to support the channel, help donate and do stuff so I can keep the website and all that stuff going, because inflation or inflammation, what the hell ever. <laughs> there are links down there, too. There are some great, cool things like Shashka bracelets, merchandise I designed myself, all that good stuff. Get you one of those t-shirts that says make your next meal keto or keto cutie or whatever. There's half sleeves, there's long sleeves, there's hoodies, all that good stuff. Check it out. Much love, many prayers. Make your next milk keto. Bye, y'all.